I'm going to show you some things and hopefully you can see my feet. Yards overgrown. Okay, so this is how we start. You don't need to club it off. We'll get the club for now. If you're standing, all you do is your weight's 50 50. You literally just kick this heel out as you get the impact. It's almost the first move from the top is to kick this onto the outside of your heel. You rock this foot. This foot goes this way immediately. On the top. That's the reaction. You go boom. Right just before impact. Coordinate the two. That's the first move. Now what that does is this. Watch me. I'm going to stand perfectly still, but I'm bringing that foot out. My body wants to do this. Remember that 54 angle? It gets right on. It does it automatically and my head doesn't move. So this part is huge, but it's just slightly more impact. Then everything kicks in on its own. It just collapses in. See my knee? I haven't done anything. He said there's no weight shift because there isn't. You're still 50-50 planted in the ground. And your foot, right foot stays on the ground all the way to impact because all he's doing is turning this way and then kicking that foot as he comes down. Kicks onto the outside left heel real quick. So now look it, I'm not moving my arms. I'm gonna put them straight out. Okay, I'm gonna tuck my elbow a little bit. See what's happening? Now I can look down the line, but my head never really moves much. It's just reacting to the body. So this is huge. It's like this. Just kick in, kick in. See how my hand's not moving now? This is your mistake. You always do this or did. And that swing rail will stop you from doing it. So he's here. Okay, he's here with this arm. Kick. 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 That's the whole move. Okay? And then he fires. But he doesn't throw like we do. Just a little bit here, but at impact, he stops. His wrists and back are neutral. He's never been in back much at all, really. He might come up this way a little bit. But he, we throw, so we overtake this arm, which collapses the elbow. And in martial arts, if you bend this, you have to collapse. That's how you control somebody. You get this backwards and then move it around. You see the chicken wing. You know, we disguise the chicken wing by doing this up here. But you can see we're over this way. What he's doing then is the arms. So for this, I'm going to use the club. <clears throat> so watch this. If you hold the club up at eye level, the club head, right? You grip from underneath. I just grabbed it. Now, you can swing like this, right? This is Jimmy Ballard, what he used to do. Right? So notice how the triangle stay intact. Now, if I do Lee's move, look familiar? Okay, so now there is no left wrist breakage or you're driving it with an elbow like this and then he comes up this way. Yeah. So this wrist never bends back, ever. He can release then super late. Look at how late 
just by doing that move. Way up here, butt is pointed at the belly, and it comes to here is all. It only works if you have the wrists cocked slightly up. That's why when that's done, the toe at a dress will stand up off the ground. And that's why he bent it back down. He didn't want that. He realized that if he was hitting it and the club didn't bend a certain way, he's putting some spin on it he didn't want to off the grooves. So he bent it back down. So I can see why he did it. Because if you do this and hold it up at your eye height, now your elbows and the club are on the exact same plane. I had a string going across. They're at the same plane, this way. So all he's doing is bending down like this. The dress. That's all he's doing. This never moves. This unit stays like this. It feels super stiff to me. Now he bends the elbow, but the unit is stiff. Like this and then because you're going out the torso okay now as you come down you're not coming down you're kicking out your arms have moved they're at the same height they were this way see arms don't move it's super late and then straighten the elbow so it's like this. Over. Extenders close together. And then it's going to be in slow motion. Back. And then simply kick this out as I get to it. Right foot just as stays there. It stays planted. It'll pull up later. Okay. Now get the 54 degrees. Now it starts to work. You have to cross it over to release up here now. Later. Everything stands up this way like the animation. so used to cocking this back though. It's hard for me. So I have to concentrate on that a little bit. Oh no, my shoe fell. My shoe fell. For me, I do really well if I think of the elbows. And the 54. Now my shoulders and everything out there. Extension. Time to 
do is put that 54 angle with the pole, whatever, alignment stick, okay, and then just practice this heel thing, but you stay here. Right as you get the impact, this kicks. The faster that rolls, the faster you can move. Stabilizing. I'm kind of on this right right now, but I'm on both. So. so it's this. Don't move these arms. Don't do this. Okay. Just like this. You see, it look like you have a long back swing. Get down to here. You're gonna release your elbow. You kick. Extend the elbow, see? Wrists would be cocked up in that angle I showed you yesterday. Your club head and your elbow creases are on the same plane the whole time. So it's this. That way you don't have to use the wrists. You're clobbering it with the, what feels to me really rigid like this. And then it's like this. See how the, my wrist didn't break this time. It just snaps up then. This way. And then you're extending your right toe. You're like this, and then the right toe can push off to get you back upright again. really wears me out, so you end up doing this, the right hand. And doing anything to extend an elbow, because this doesn't move. Kind of like my karate palm strike. Okay, and then this arm is doing this. It's not moving. And the shoulder stays, 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 stays. Stays, 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 let go. And then it comes up like this. Hold your elbow back. It's easy. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can stop collapsing that arm. Okay, so I gotta maintain this angle of support for me, otherwise, I, I don't get it right. This is big to keep this angle of the arms. It allows you to stretch this arm down. Now you just get this look. Concentrate not only on the arms and this angle of the head, club head being on the elbow plane, but I'm gonna concentrate on that 54 degree line and I'll even measure it. I'll put in a line later. See if I can do this. 